fine with Why, me. did somebody say something? <laughs> <laughs> Hi all, well here we are again, another review. What have we got this time? Or something a little different. I've never done a quad before, never owned a quad. So this time we're going to have a look at the new Blade 180 QX HD. It's the latest offering from Blade in the quadcopters. Now what's special about this one is it comes with a camera. Yes, you get a camera with it that actually works from your transmitter. So that you can uh, turn it on and off from your transmitter. You can take photos, video. It's a 720, so should be fairly good quality. Anyway, let's get this out of the box and we'll have a look exactly what you get. So we've got the manual, screwdriver, some props. In the box we get the battery, everything's in there, you can see it's all in there. Let's get it out and have a look. Okay, out of the box, it's uh, pretty basic. You get a spare set of props. You get the E-Flight 1S 500mAh 25C battery, should give us a good flight time. Now I've not seen these before but this is the new E-Flight USB charger. So you just plug it into a USB and it charges your battery for you. Quite unique. You get some landing gear that's going to hold the camera for you when you use the quadcopter as, as a camera platform. You get a cable for connecting your camera to the computer. As always a manual, you'll need to read that. There's some setting up that you need to do. Channels need to be reversed. So read the manual to set up. Then we got the camera itself. A neat little feature here, it's got an adjustable lens there. It moves up and down. So you can get the angle right down or you can have it up however you want it. The camera comes with a 2 gig SD card already fitted in here. It has three buttons. You've got an on button here. Press the on button and it'll come on. Okay, it always comes on in photo mode so it's ready for photos. If you want to change it to video, you go to the other side and you press the mode change button. You'll see it flash twice. Now it's in video mode. The start, play, stop button. Press that. Now it's flashing. Now that means it's recording. So, here you'll be able to see exactly what we're recording. Here you'll be able to see exactly what we're recording. Press the stop button and it goes into hold mode. Now you can do all these functions from your transmitter. If you buy the ready to fly one, it'll be a switch on that one. I haven't got that. I've got the bind and fly. On my binding fly one, it's the trainer button. To turn it off, just press the on off button, it'll flash and then it's off. Okay, well here's what you've all been waiting to look at. It's the new QX180 from Blade. You can fly it normally, it's got the same sort of landing gear that was on the earlier Blade quads. So it can land and fly normal, you don't have to have the camera on it. You've got two orange blades to show you the front, so you know your orientation. Round here, you've got your cable to connect to your camera. I'll show you how to do that in a while, we'll just get the bottom on. You've also got your battery here. You get four screws and a screwdriver. This just screws straight onto there, so let's do that. Bit of cloth here, you need to thread it through so that you've got it ready to hold on your... Uh, camera so that thread threads through like that. You'll get a little sticky bit of velcro in the pack that goes on the bottom of your camera. Now before I attach the camera I'll just show you which way round this goes. The brown wire goes to the top the side that the two buttons and your SD cards on so the brown wires up that top. The SD card your two buttons are there the brown wire goes in there. The camera fits in and then that wraps around that. So there we have it. Now don't forget, you can move your lens wherever you want it. Straight up or down a bit, so when you're up you've got a bit of an angle shooting downwards. I've already made a slot in my DX9. 
and you, as I say, you need to follow the manual and put in the rates and reverse the auxiliary channel, this one, you need to reverse that one. It's all in the manual, you'll need to read it to set it up. I've already bound this, we all know how to bind, you connect the battery to the quadcopter, the light will flash, hold your bind button down, turn on. Okay, we have everything connected up. So we take our battery, it slots into the battery slot, make sure you connect your wires around the right way, get the white to white, the black to black, let it sit as it's doing it. Okay, everything's ready. Right, there it is all together. Something we didn't talk about is, this comes with a stability mode. Now you have high or low angle stability mode. On low angle stability mode, it's going to be great for the camera because it's not going to be able to move much more than this each way. On high stability mode, you'll be able to move it a little bit further. It also has agility mode. Now in agility mode, you're going to be able to do anything. It does flips. Uh, I've never flown one, so I don't expect to see any from me, but the guys who fly these can flip them and do all sorts of stuff in agility mode. Let's do that camera again. So you need to turn it on, so hold it on and then it will turn on. Now it's turned on, now we're going to change the mode over to video. So press the mode button, it flashes a couple of times, now it's in video mode. Now if I hit my trainer button, it's now recording. See how it's flashing? That's how you can tell it's recording. So that's recording this now. Press it again and it stops. If you want to change mode to the photo mode, you hold your trainer button down, let it go, it'll flash and then it'll turn. And then it's taking pictures. Okay, I guess we better listen to this and see how it sounds. Flies quite good, it's very stable. As you can see, they fly anywhere. I can't wait until I can get outside and give this a go. But there you are. Well, there you are. The unboxing review of the new Blade 180 QX. A really nice plane, I think beginners, anybody. I've never flown one of these before and as you saw then, I was able to just lift it up and hover. Yes, I do fly helicopters, so I sort of knew what to expect in a roundabout way, but yeah, it was quite stable, easy to use. The camera was filming, oh look at that, still is filming. Press the button and it stops. As easy as that. This is going to be really good for filming and that. I can see we're going to have a lot of fun taking it different places where I go and filming. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little review. Again, I'd like to thank Mike from OMP, as always. He came through and uh, got us this beautiful Blade 180QX HD to give it a review and go. I'll have Corinne up on the weekend. We'll get outside and we'll see how we can go outside and what sort of pictures we can get for you. Okay, well that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this little presentation and we'll see you soon. Catches.